It's one thing building something for the lab and totally entirely different scenario when you're building something for the customer. Machine is a voice AI uh, for enterprise startup. Uh, we primarily started off as a hardware company five years back. And uh, over a period of time, we figured out that it is not going to scale. And this was a pivot that happened. Uh, and currently, what we are building is a voice AI uh, platform, uh, which has a speech to text engine inside, uh, similar to, let's say, Google or Microsoft. But our primary differentiation being we have an option to deploy the engine on-premise for the customer. Uh, we don't collect any data per se. And uh, we also have a domain adaptation so that it adapts to your specific domain like FinTech or Pharma or, or insurance. So which in turns means that you have a better accuracy. Uh, on top of it, we are also building an uh, enterprise, enterprise assistant platform, which actually uh, helps you correlate uh, and find uh, patterns in the data that is available for you in the enterprise. So voice plus uh, NLP is the core of our uh, platform. Uh, we have already built a speech platform. Uh, currently we are in the process of building the NLP part as well. And this combined would be provided to the customer uh, to pretty much uh, improve their efficiency in processes uh, and uh, bring better productivity. We started in 2013, uh, to be precise. Uh, initially, we started off as a hardware company. Uh, we used to build something called a multi-touch table, uh, which used to be a hardware uh, device similar to Microsoft Surface. Uh, we started off from that. We sold a few units. We have gone through the cycle. And around 2016 and uh, 17 early, uh, we figured out that it is not something that's easier to scale, especially in India. Uh, back then, we were not in Hyderabad as well. Uh, and that's around the point we pivoted based on customer feedback and everything. And we started to build our own uh, voice uh, meeting assistant. Uh, the idea was capture the whole content in a meeting and then eventually make it available as a minutes to the customer. Uh, we were using uh, existing voice APIs from Google and Microsoft. But the biggest problem that we faced was when we, when we went to the customer, people were like, uh, we are concerned about the privacy because you're sharing data with third party, etc." So that's when we decided, OK, we have to build our own speech engine to go to the customer and give a better experience or privacy. Uh, so it's about that time we got incubated in uh, IIIT Hyderabad as part of Avishkar program. Uh, we got associated with the speech processing lab. We started working with Prof. Ranil. And that is how we you know, sort of started building the whole platform. And now we are here. Dr. Anil uh, is one of the person who is heading the speech processing lab at IIIT Hyderabad. Uh, so he has been helping us in designing or architecturing the whole platform of speech to text, uh, primarily because uh, IIIT has one of the good facilities in, in the country. Anil has, Dr. Anil has actually helped us in you know, taking from a point where we didn't have much exposure in speech to text uh, when we were not from that background. Uh, and we had to pretty much work with him to build our own expertise and build a production ready system. So it's one thing building something for the lab and totally entirely different scenario when you're building something for the customer which has to go to the market and actually work. So uh, Dr. Anil has been very uh, instrumental in the journey and yeah, we, we are still working with him going forward as well. Yeah. I'm Dr. Anil Kumar, working in the area of speech signal processing. This is one of the hard domain where uh, products like Alexa, OK Google and uh, Many other products are coming out. I'm working with a startup called Mashinga, where we are building a Indian, lang Indian English speech recognition system. I help them to build that system, as well as speaker recognition system. In Mashinga, the main objective is to make uh, uh, minutes of meeting automize, okay, so that we can write the blitz of minutes of meeting automatically. Along with that, we are also working uh, to build a lot of Indian, uh, Indian language speech recognition systems as well as speech sensor systems, which will ha help uh, a lot. And in broad goal, we are also working on speech-to-speech uh, -speech translation. That is very essential for Indian languages. So many more startups can work in this domain, where we can uh, develop the technology in Indian context. With respect to, let's say, uh, startups who are 
product focused or you know someone who can actually hit an MVP in two, two to three months. Uh, that's where a deep tech startup faces a hurdle because the, the inception time or the time taken for a product to actually make a market ready is much longer. Uh, takes around one or one and a half, maybe even two years, depending on the technology that you're working. And also, there's a lot of IP focus. So, if you are looking for you know quick revenue or quick return of investment, it may not happen that much. So, the startup, the co-founders, as well as the uh, investors who are part of the journey should be sharing the same, uh, you know, uh, the idea that this is how it's going to happen. And uh, when you're IP focused, you know, you start running dry on funds very fast. So having the right investors and the money is very critical. And also go to market is going to be tricky because uh, this is something where you can't go to the market with a half big product where you can iterate on the customer and see how it works because uh, here we are talking about something where, especially in speech, if it works, it has to be 95% extra. You can't sell a speech engine which works 60%, 70% because the expectations are very different. So that has been one of the challenges. And for us, uh, obviously the data uh, challenge was there because we are trying to build a uh, speech engine, especially for the Indian English market or regional languages. For, especially for the regional language, we don't even have data sets available, uh, which is where I think government or MIT is uh, coming forward uh, and provide the data sets available uh, so that you know, startups can build technology for you know, 1 billion people. We see Machinga as an enterprise assistant platform, which brings together data from multiple points, uh, all the way from voice to text uh, to documents uh, into one single uh, dashboard where the customer can look through different data points and find correlations in that. So we see ourselves being used by you know, all the major enterprises where there is a lot of data floating around, floating around and you want to make sense out of it. Uh, that is one of the play. Uh, other would be primarily offering the speech to text platform as an offering which can be used by anyone who wants data privacy uh, and has a specific need of optimizing into a specific domain uh, or vertical. Obviously in the next uh, 6 to 12 months we would be going for an next fundraise also uh, and we are looking forward to great talent who would be you know, more than welcome to join our team as well. CIE, I think, is one of the only or uh, very few uh, deep tech accelerator programs in the country which is focusing on deep tech. And especially coming from an academic background, we feel that they actually get the technology being one of the core factors and can actually be part of the development process. Uh, may be the labs that uh, are already here or be the TTO, a technology transfer office program that is running. Uh, it has been very instrumental in connecting with the right people at the right time. Uh, and once you mature, uh, I think uh, CIE would be the best place where you can even have talent available or even funding for that matter. So yes, I think, and especially, uh, like I mentioned, the inception period for a startup being one to two years, uh, you need an uh, incubator or an accelerator program which understands that uh, rather than expecting like a, you know, a product in like three months, which is very hard to come by, especially working on deep tech. So that way I think uh, CI has been very helpful and I hope a lot of other deep tech startups can also leverage the same.